confidence in this offense right now? You know, obviously Derek's doing something we hadn't seen in over the last three games, but you know, you've been able to throw, guys are getting open, Johnny making catches, Khalif, things like that. What is making you all so effective and, and able to put up points when you need to? I think there's a belief in one another, first and foremost, that uh, we've been through a lot this season, ups and downs, and, and won games in a lot of different ways. So uh, different guys have stepped up throughout the season and, and made those plays for us to win. And uh, with that comes a lot of belief and a lot of confidence in one another that doesn't really matter what play call comes in, that we'll find a way to make it work. Obviously, Darren, uh, Derek is running his tail off right now, and, and receivers are doing a good job of, of making plays when the opportunities come. I know there are times that, that settling for a field goal is, is, is the right thing for an offense. Uh, in the red zone, I think you've left the field maybe four times uh, since you've taken over. What's it like to, to always be looking at the end zone and, and never be looking at the sideline? Well, that's one of our goals. We talk about it every week is, is coming away with seven points when we're down there. Uh, we've done a good job, I think, throughout the year of, of executing plays and then making some off-schedule plays as well. So um, there's a lot of confidence that once we get down there, like, like I said, that we'll find a way to make a play. Sometimes it comes early early in the, uh, the set of downs. Sometimes, like last week, it was late on, on third down. John New making a heck of a play in the corner of the end zone. So uh, you combine that with Derek, you know, obviously running hard each and every play. and, and Oh, there's a lot of different weapons we can use. How much has the variety maybe been the key to, to the whole thing that you've been? Well, it's been about? huge. Like I said, we have a bunch of different guys. You know, they can't really key in on one particular guy. You know, we're able to kind of spread it around, create matchups all over the field, and we have confidence that um, you know every guy can can get open. How much you think that the first Chiefs game kind of was the springboard for maybe what has happened here this season? Well, it definitely gave us some confidence. You know. Uh, Coming off of, of a loss at Carolina, then you know coming back home and, and being able to beat a, a really good team um, late in the fourth quarter, came back a couple times in that game, uh, down I think nine in the fourth quarter, being able to come back and get that win. Defense stepping up huge, uh, and then offense making some plays to, to get the points on the board. Uh, it just gave us a lot of confidence that uh, you know we, we can beat we can beat really good teams, and uh, kind of springboarded us and gave us confidence that that just kept growing as the season went on. <laughs> Well, every offense kind of goes through ebbs and flows of the season, and uh, play callers, players do, do kind of the same thing. So he's done a great job of, of manipulating uh, the way he's calling games and, and what he's calling uh, as, to, as to how the games are going. You know, you look at the past couple games, you know, we've, we've tried to shorten those games and, and um, really handle, handle everything up front, which the offensive line does a great job, and Derek's running hard. So we haven't thrown the ball a whole lot. You know, go back earlier in the season, and. There's more of the play action and, and stuff downfield. So uh, we're able to do it kind of different ways, and it all kind of just depends how, how the game's going and, and what we're trying to accomplish. Are you yeah, that doesn't, doesn't seem to uh, worry too much about taking some risks and thinking to the, to the Derrick Henry jump pass there. I guess I wonder <coughs> what your initial thought was when you heard that, that play call and uh, you know, how you saw it uh, uh, develop, and maybe just in general in Arthur's willingness to take risks like that. Yeah, we're always going to take some risk. I mean, with no risk comes no reward. So uh, that's kind of our mindset is calculated risk, not, not uh, dumb risk, but uh, we're going to take some risk. That's, that's part of playing the game and, and wanting to go win. I mean, you don't play not to lose, you play to win. So uh, that's our mindset as an offense, his, his mindset as a play caller. And uh, that play call to Derek was, was a great call. You know, it was uh, something that we've worked for several weeks now. It's a great in practice. Derek's done a great job of, of putting that ball in a great spot. And he executed it in the game just like he did in practice. What is your mindset at all to throw the ball more, given the last couple of weeks? You haven't had to. But are you yeah, well, I mean, being a quarterback, obviously, I love, I love throwing the ball. Um, but I just want to win. At the end of the day, that's what we go out there each and every week is to find a way to win and, and do whatever it takes. So if that's throwing it 15 times and, and you know, trying to execute those plays, then that's what I'll do. If it's 35, then that's what it is. Do you think the confidence in the offense is you've had such success doing it basically one way for three weeks now. Do you think if, it, if the game materializes differently and it, it has to go the other way, do you think the same confidence is there that you can win the other way? No doubt. You know, we've, we've put in a lot of work to, to get this point. Like I said, we've, we've done it multiple ways throughout the season. And uh, you don't forget how to throw and catch in, in two weeks. You know, so it's, uh, it's something we still have a lot of confidence in. And, and I know our guys outside uh, have a lot of confidence in themselves, and, and I have a lot of con confidence in them being able to get open and, and get them the football. What was your mindset, I guess, at two and four when you know, things weren't going well, and Brayden touched you on the shoulder and said, hey, you know, we're going to you? 
I was excited for the opportunity. Obviously, it feels like forever ago now. But uh, yeah, you, when, you're, when you're standing on the sideline, uh, you just want to be prepared and, and be ready for your opportunity. So when I got the, got the chance to go in, I just wanted to take advantage of it and, and find a way to, to lead this team to wins. What did you envision it going like this? Yeah, I mean, you always envision it, you know, winning games and, and competing for a championship. Um, but for me, I don't step back a whole lot and take a look at, at long term at the end of the season. It was more week to week. All right, find a way to win this one game, find a way to win the next game, and, uh, and just keep moving. You know, I think sometimes you can get overwhelmed if you try to take a step back and, and do more than what's right in front of you. At least I can. So just a matter of, of handling what's right in front of me and, and uh, find a way to win one game. From going back to that time when you became the starter to where you're at now, specifically for you, how do you see yourself now compared to where you were? I have a lot more experience in this offense. Uh, I think I go back to that time, obviously I had training camp and, and the off season, but hadn't had any game reps besides preseason and, and just not a lot of reps in general. So um, with the games adding up and with, with the time in the offense, obviously more and more confidence in the guys around me and, and more and more comfort with the offense knowing, all right, I got this coverage. I know this is where the ball is probably going to go. It's not there. Boom, boom, boom. There's my check down. You know, so just faster processing and, and knowing exactly, uh, you know, what what the play is is probably going to do. Where have you seen them improve the most? Maybe since week ten, and what are the challenges facing that defense in that stadium? Uh, they're a good defense, man. They uh, they've done a really good job, especially since since we play them. You know, they really uh, play hard. Uh, they play physical. They play fast up front, coming off the football. They got good good guys on the on the backside to cover. You know, Matthew's all over the place, making plays on the football. Um, so they really have the, the, the whole package on defense, and uh, they're playing really well right now. Rabel said you hold people accountable in your own way. Could you kind of describe what that way is? Um, I mean, just holding people accountable. <laughs> it's uh, Holding people accountable is holding people accountable. So, you know, if you're not in the right spot, just making sure we get it corrected and, and, and fixed. That way we can hit it the next time. You know, there's mistakes that are constantly being made in football. It's an imperfect game. You strive per for perfection, but it's an imperfect game. So uh, I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And it's just a matter of being able to learn from those mistakes, correct them, and then move on. That way, the next time it comes up, we can hit it. Along those lines, um, I know you were here before the start of the season, but you weren't the starter. So you took over about halfway through. How did you go about establishing yourself as a leader? Because a lot of guys have talked about that. Yeah, it's like a, it's a little bit of a slow process. You know, you don't want to come in, you know, guns blazing and, and, uh, and you know, shake the boat too much. It's just a matter of, of being myself, leading in my own way, encouraging guys, trying to um, press, press this offense, press each and every person, build the relationships, and try to get the most out of every guy. You know, every guy's a little bit different, how you talk to them, how you handle them, and uh, hold them accountable. Every guy's a little bit different. So matter of, of building those relationships, learning each and every guy, and then just trying to trying to push to get the best out of our guys. How much did being able to sit back and observe those first multiple weeks help you evolve as a leader, just like understand how to relate to each of the guys? Well, I got to kind of be a fly on the wall for, for a few weeks there and, and just see how guys operated, how they responded to adversity, to um, you know positive things, and, and just really learn about them from, from afar. And uh, while you know, getting to know them on a personal level. So it was a combination there of, um, you know, having a, a broad perspective of how they respond to certain things and then also just building that relationship. Early in the year, we talked, or we talked to Mike about how you guys were having to run into eight-man boxes out of necessity. How much has that benefited you guys as you've had to do it through the playoffs at this point? Well, it gives us a lot of confidence. You know, you look at, at what Derek's been able to do over the past few weeks. I mean, once you get into the third quarter and you've already run it 30 times, I think they know what's coming on, on first and 10. Um, and he's still gaining yards. You know, it's, it's incredible what the offensive line has, has been able to, to do, moving guys, moving the line of scrimmage, creating increases for him. And then obviously Derek is one of the biggest, most physical backs that, that I've ever seen run. So um, if it's muddy, he's going to get three yards. If it's open and he gets to the second level, it may go 70. So it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun to, to see those guys work. What, what, what do you hear from Titans fans as you kind of establish yourself here? 
Uh, I don't go out a whole lot, unfortunately, not this time of year. Uh, I get out a lot more in the off season. You know, this time of year, it's pretty boring, really. I mean, I go from here home, spend some time with my kids, maybe go to a park and I'll slide down the slide with my kids. Uh, the rare the rare time on, on Tuesday that I get. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty boring. But uh, I think I, I feel the excitement in the city. You know, it's, it's been fun to, you know, feel that energy build as the season's gone on. Brian, I'm shocked. It's business as usual uh, this week. But being so close to the ultimate goal, do you feel it maybe a little more intense this week? Or you guys still a pretty loose group? Yeah, I think there's uh, a good feeling around a lot of confidence and, and um, business as usual. Obviously, we're sitting in here with however how many 30 cameras in here and a lot, a lot of faces that I haven't seen before. But um, our week is the same, you know, besides the extra media. We're, we're going about the same process um, to get ready both mentally and physically that we've gone through throughout the season. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big game, obviously. There's a lot of attention. But when we're in the building, not a lot's different for us. We're just going about our process to get ready for the game. Last one. Ryan, you talked about evolving as a leader for this football team. Were there some veteran guys that you leaned on uh, in that process? On this team? Uh, well, I mean, there's, obviously, we have other leaders on the team, you know, guys that have been around a long time, Woodyard, uh, Jarrell, KB, Ben, I mean, a bunch of guys that, that do a good job of leadership for us. But at the end of the day, leadership is about being yourself and, and just trying to get the most of the guys around you.